What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, I decided, uh, maybe, maybe we should continue on our little adventure right here. We got, like, three, maybe four different places to go, and, yes, I, I kind of want to explore them all, get our Pokemon leveled up and all that stuff. Yes, off-screen, I was training my Pokemon, but you know what? Maybe we should hold off on uh, gym, battle, uh, gym Battle number six until... You know, probably the next episode or so. You know what? The next episode. I I I I, I like a good climax uh, climactic battle here. So, the first thing we're gonna be doing today, guys, is we're gonna be going straight to Mount Pyre because there are some stuff going on over there. And uh, yes, we're gonna be battling some Pokemon as always. As you guys can see, yes, we have been we have been training our Pokemon just a little bit, and uh, well. Yeah, we, 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 we kind of just need to, like, you know, power up our Pokemon just a little bit more because there are going to be more battles, more gym leaders, a lot of legendary Pokemon. And, well, look at this. Here we are. Mountfire. Okay, so Mountfire, as many of you guys already know, is the uh, Lavender Town, or, yeah, the Pokemon Tower of the, whatchamacallit, the Hoenn region. Right here, you'll be able to find yourself some creepy individuals and uh, some ghost-type Pokemon, too. My suggestion for you many of you guys is to go in there and bet and do the double battles first or just try and get the double battles as often as possible because yeah that's more experience points you get everything done quickly and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and battle everybody let's do it okay so here we go taking on pokemaniac mark and hex maniac leah and they're gonna be coming out with some interesting pokemon that we haven't seen quite some time so let's go ahead and uh Go with a surf attack and let's go with a dragon dragon claw right here and there we go dragon claw right there and look at that yes we have won okay alrighty so it, it would seem that yeah it would seem that surf doesn't hit us just yet okay so let's go ahead and take on this individual and he's like yeah I'm terrified are you terrified are you really terrified let's find out Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Black Belt Xander, and I thought Black Belts were supposed to have, like, you know, balls of steel. You know, not afraid of anything. I don't know. Anywho, let's go right ahead, and... Hmm. Surf attack, right there, just like that, and Raiden grows to level 32. Yes. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's go right ahead, and switch out... You know, we... Nah, you know what? We're going to keep it the same right here because we do need to level up our Pokemon. Chances are we might get the maybe one or two Pokemon trainers into, or more, uh, one or two more Pokemon into the level 40. So that would be nice right there. So let's go right ahead and take on Luke and Dez. And, well, they got some pretty uh, pretty strong Pokemon. And now that we know that we can't get, we can't get her with a Surf Attack right here. And, well... You know what, let's go with a, actually, hold on just a sec, let's go with a quick attack, let's go with this. We are paralyzed as always because, you know, we are a paralysis magnet. And, well, that is that. Okay, alrighty. Let's see, let's go right ahead and use a paralysis heal right here. And, bam, okay. Let's see, grab this, and we found ourselves an Ultra Ball, which is always nice. And, what is next? Oh yes, here's another trainer, and, ouch, ouch! There are holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice it took a tumble from the floor above. <laughs> oh, wow. You must uh, you must not uh, have a good eyesight or something, or maybe you should just take off the, you know, the you should probably take off these sunglasses and stuff. And, well, this girl right here is going to be like, Memories of my darling Skitty. My eyes overflow thinking about it. Hmm. Thought she was going to battle us. And, well, we're waiting for that battle. Come on, turn around. Come on, turn around. You guys suck. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are. Take it on this trainer, and we're gonna speed it through. She does have quite a few Pokemon, and there we go. Pokemon breeders always have uh, the most Pokemon. I don't get it. And it's usually like Pokemon that don't get your levels, uh, or don't get, don't give you a lot of experience points, which is kind of lame and stuff. And well, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. And Ember attack. Here comes a Poochiana, so let's go with Dalsim. Oh wait, that's the wrong Pokemon. Dragon Claw. There we go, for the win. And let's go with Raiden right here. Thunderbolt, for the win, and there we go. Just like that, we win again. 
And, well, of course, she is going to be giving us uh, her numbers right here. And let's go ahead and talk to this lady. And she's like, <laughs> this is no place for children, at least for all of you. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on a psychic. And she's coming out with her Wobbuffet right here. And as many of you guys already know, Wobbuffet, kind of like a punching bag. And like a punching bag, a real one, it it kind of bounces back at you in a hard way. I think that's I think that was the whole gif behind this Pokemon's creation and all that stuff. So, <laughs> and here we go, Crunch Attack for the win, Joss, level 35. Alrighty, okay. Now here's something cool, guys. Now that we finished Pokemon Fire Red. We, yeah, we, we, we are able to trade with this Pokemon game, which uh, I'm going to try and do before we battle the last two trainers, and maybe even, uh, maybe even, uh, what was it called, the, the Elite Four, because it, as many of you guys already know, going into Pokemon Emerald, you don't really get a lot of Pokemon trainers to train, and it's every so often that in the Pokenav, you get some trainers that will, you know, train against you, battle against you, and all that stuff. It's not like the VS Seeker where, you know, you kind of know, and you can rematch anybody. And the experience points are not that much. So, let's go right ahead and switch this off right here. And let's go with Hadouken, give him another level right here. And see what this lady has to say. I love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. But I'm here, a shivel with fear. Oh dang, calm down Wednesday. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on another Hex Maniac, and we're taking on a Shuppet right here. And look at that, that's easy. And yes, she does not like losing, so yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so before we grab an item, let's go right up here and continue battling everybody. And I mean everybody, like this karate guy. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Alrighty, let's see what kind of progress we have. So here we go, taking on Black Belt uh, at Sushi, at Sushi. Com. And well, let's go right ahead and speed it up a little. There we go. Dragon Claw for the win. And yes, at Sushi, yes, you have been defeated. Okay, so let's see. We got another floor right here. Jeebus, Crimini. Okay. Yeah, my Pokemon's going to faint. Let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. And well, we got a double battle right here. Look at me. Yes. Have you lost your bearings? Have no fear, for I am here. And I thought I was going to battle. I thought I was going to double battle, but never mind. Here we are taking on a psychic, and his name is Cedric. And, well, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's go with Screech Attack. Screech Attack, and here comes a Destiny Bond. So that right there is no good. Okay, so that's it, a very, very good strategy. Now, as many of you guys already noticed, Destiny Bond, uh, depending on, well, Destiny Bond basically is that if you're if that Pokemon using Destiny Bond faints, it takes the opponent with it. So yeah, we're gonna have to like literally make this Pokemon faint. And because Wobbuffet has Shadow Tag, there's no escape from this. Sage, of course, gets this, and well, we don't faint. Huh. Or did I get that correctly or incorrectly? I don't know. Correct me down below, guys. It's been a while. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on another trainer, Hexmaniac Valerie. She's going to be coming out with a Sableye. Let's go with that. And, uh, well, yeah, she's not happy about this. <laughs> foo, foo, foo. I lost the match, but I have this little ability. Without ever laying my hands on your Pokenap. Hiya! Oh, wow. Okay, so I got number from the Creepy Chick. It's no big issue. I mean, I've dated Creepy Chicks before, and, well... Here we are, found ourselves the TM30, Shadow Ball, a very useful move. And before we get attacked by another gas or a, a ghost type Pokemon, let's go ahead and use a super, po super Repel. And let's go right ahead and grab the rest of the items right here. Of course, we're not done with our little uh, adventure. Here we found Lax Incense. And if we go down here... This will bring us down to this spot, this spot right here, and we will be able to get ourselves a Sea Incense. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You combine a Sea Incense with a Meryl, breed it, you will be able to get a Zuril. Comment down below. And there we go. 
And here we are towards the very end of this whole uh, Mount Pyre, like the inside of Mount Pyre. Now, we actually have to go outside of Mount Pyre in order to see what's going on in there. Because, uh, yeah, there's, 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 there's a lot of stuff going on right here. So, here we are outside of Mount Pyre. You will be able to find some different Pokemon. One of them being Meditite. The Pokemon that we had and we had to trade for and all that crud. And look at this. We got ourselves a TM48 Skill Swap. Uh, let's see, Vulpix is another Pokemon you can actually find here, too. And, well, quite a few other Pokemon. Interesting Pokemon. Chimeko is it one of them. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, well, let's grab this. Here we found ourselves the Max Potion. That's always fun right there, too. And, well, let's see. We got... A Repel has been worn off. Of, of course, I'm going to be coming back to capture every single Pokemon right here. You know, laying the teams, and here we're going to be finding ourselves a Max Aether. And that's always nice. And then, well, let's see. Going right here. Found ourselves another Ultra Ball. That right there is always cool, too. And, well, let's see. I think we already got everything right here. So let's go in here, and we are going to be going towards the very top of Mount Pyre. And before we battle anybody, let's go right here. I think, you, I think you'll be able to find this. Yes, a Zinc. All right, zinc. Not there. There we go. There we go. Nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's get them all angry. Let's go ahead and use their uh, their the rival signature Pokemon. <laughs> Too bad for you. If you came here earlier, you would you only would have had a, a, to battle a wimpy team magma. But since you arrived now, you have to take on us toughies. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Who knows? Alrighty, so here we are, taking on Team Aqua Grunt, and yes, he's gonna be coming out with a Carvana right here. Yeah, that Carvana is looking at me all funny and stuff with its overbite. Let's go ahead and speed this up, Rock Slide, for the win, and we win. <laughs> Look at that, he's not happy. Now, if you go right here, you will be able to find another spot. I believe this is the spot where you can find the rare Chimeko, I think. Or Chim Chim, I don't even know what the, what the name of the Pokemon is, but it's a ghost type Pokemon. And well, let's see, I think there's another spot right here. I thought I, I thought you could actually get a spot right here where you could actually get a rare candy, but I think it's the next one up. All right, bring it on. No, those see Magma Goons got up here ahead of us. We can't fall behind. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on the Team Aqua member and Rock Slide for the win. Yes. They are literally angry at me just because I'm using the the enemy's mascot. You, we saw you at Mount Chimney. You don't belong to either team or to other team. So why why you are you here or why should you be here? I don't even know. Oh, I know. You tried to join Team Magma, but they wouldn't have you. Well, don't think that we'll let you join our Team Aqua. Yeah, I kind of don't want to join anyone. I don't. Why? Because uh, you can't afford me. So here we are taking on. The Team Aqua grunts, and well, we're gonna speed it up right here. We're gonna go with the rock slide, and we're gonna go with the slash onto this guy right here. And just like that, we defeat Whalmer. And Hadouken has been dragged out. So let's go right ahead and heal this Pokemon because, yeah, that's an easy target right there. There we go, and yes, yeah, so Vesuvius is kicking some butt right here. Again, and well, let's go right ahead and go with a Dragon Claw for the win. And just like that, we have defeated uh, our good old buddies. And Hadouken has grown to level 35. So, I guess I guess that's progress right there. Alrighty. Okay, so that is that. I think if you go right here... Yes, there's going to be some items right here. No. But you will be able to find a Shuppet, which, you know, is a pretty good ghost-type Pokemon. And a Repel. Actually, a very good idea right here. And, yes, we have found ourselves... A second rare candy. Believe it or not, I still haven't used a rare candy. And well, once you reach the top of Mount Pyre, you're gonna see Archie right here. He's like Team Magma or Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The red ore preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. No, you don't say. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only be uh, the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and the red orb must never be separated. They belong together. 
What are those men trying to do with the with the two orbs? Oh yes. Was it Team Mamma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine uh, what exactly it could be. I I would like you to have it, but perhaps it's useful in some way. And here we get ourselves the magma emblem. If you guys don't remember, a few episodes ago, we went through the Jagged Pass. And we happened to find ourselves a lone Team Magma member. He was just like, you know, hanging around there. You'll see once we get back over there that, yeah, 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 you know, he, that right there is a, uh, you know, what he was standing in front of is a pretty important spot. So, let's see, what else can we find right here? I don't know. More grass? More Pokemon? Nothing. Okay, so we are done with Mount Pyra here, guys. Now, the next spot that we actually have to go to is Routes 121. And, yes, I do not want to talk to anybody right here. Um, so, yeah. The next spot that we actually have to go to is Route 121. And... I think we need to get a, get ourselves a Pokemon that knows Cut or something like that. Yeah. Because, uh... Yeah, we, 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 we definitely have some plans for what's ahead right here. So, let's see. Hmm. How to do it? Oh, yeah! The... What you want to call it? The... The Safari Zone has a has a uh, what, what, what you would call it, a PC. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now, guys. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I just realized something, guys. As you can see, we don't have a Pokemon with cut, so we have to battle these uh, these twins right here, or these uh, junior senior people. So let's go right ahead and battle them. As you guys can see, one has a Spinda, the other one has a Slacking. You guys already know what the deal is. Slacking is not a pretty cool Pokemon to go up against. It is one of the most powerful Pokemon, but yet is one of the most laziest. And well, let's see. Let's go with the Rock Slide and Screech Attack onto Slacking. And well, we are confused. Dalsim needs to work, and Sage of the Halo right here. So there we go. We're sleepy, and here comes a Jump Kick and Leaf Blade right there. And Raiden has grown to level 34. So look at that. <laughs> yeah, we're getting experience points all the way. And they're asking for forgiveness and all that stuff. So, I'm going to go into the Safari Zone. I'm going to go get a Pokemon from the PC. And then we're going to go right back down to Routes 121, 22, and 23. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are back in Mount Pyre. We got ourselves a Pokemon to Nose Cut. Because it's going to be important for this section right here. Yes, in this episode, we... Are gonna complete this whole thing right here, and uh, we're gonna be battling everybody we can. This is Route 123. If, well, it's not a it's not a secret place, but you do need a Pokemon to nose cut in order to get by and grab some stuff and whatnot. And you know, let's see. Of course, you're gonna be getting uh, into a few battles. So I would suggest if you guys don't want to battle uh, Winona, I think that's what the name is. If you don't want to battle the sixth gym leader. I would go right here, just so you can actually, you know, get a little bit more experience points. Because most of these Pokemon right here do have uh, their Pokemon, or most of these trainers do have their Pokemon at around the level 30s. And, well, there we go. Now, the, the question is, am I over-leveling my Pokemon just a little? Kind of. I kind of am, but you know what? That, that is how it is, because eventually, it's going to even itself, it's going to even itself out going into, I would like to say... Going into the eighth gym battle, I, I, I want to say that. Not only that, but we got quite a few things that we need to do in between all that stuff. So yes, we, yeah, we, 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 eh, things, things will pan out and all that stuff. So here we are taking on Ninja Boy and Paracel Lady, and well, we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon. Or we're not gonna be switching out our Pokemon, but we're gonna be doing this: Surf Attack and Double Attack right here, and just like that, we have defeated both these individuals yes okay so let's see here we found ourselves a PP up that right there will be useful for I would like to say your your PPs and here we found ourselves a third rare candy that right there will actually help us out if we want to get our Pokemon up to level 40 there's probably like two or three of them that can actually do that so let's go right ahead and uh, grab some berries right here there we go berries again and here we go, another berries. Now, if you talk to this individual, she's gonna be like, I love grass-type Pokemon. Do you have any grass-type Pokemon? Oh, you like grass-type Pokemon too, don't you? 
I'm so happy you can have this. It's a token of our friendship, and we get ourselves the TM-19. TM-19 is, let's see, I check trees for grass-type Pokemon. I'm like a tree doctor. Now, I want to know what the grass or TM-19 is. I think it's Giga Drain or something. Yeah, it is. It's Giga Drain. This, of course, recovers half the HP of the damage this move inflicts, so it's a pretty good move. And, well, let's see. Is there anything? Um, yes. So we're going to be cutting through. There's going to be some trainers that we're going to be skipping out on. There's going to be some that, you know, well, maybe, maybe not. But there, going into this location right here, there might be some trainers that you might be skipping out on because you do need to fly back and forth to get to where the ledges are. So I'm going to I'm gonna try and battle the majority of them. And here we go, taking on these guys. And, well, let's see. Let's go with the rock slide, surf attack. There we go, same thing, there we go, and yes, we're gonna keep the strategy going with double hits, and just like that, we have defeated both the Hex Maniac and the Collector Nerd guy. So let's see, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up right here, we're gonna get ourselves some berries. Gotta love those berries right there too. And, well, let's see, there's an open spot right here, there should be an item, and yes, we have found ourselves a Super Repel. And, well, let's see. Here we're going to be finding this little thing. And we found ourselves an elixir. So, let's see. What else can we find? More Pokemon. And if you're playing Pokemon Fire or Pokemon Ruby, I think. Yeah, I think this is where you can actually find them all while. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, again, we're going to be skipping through this guy, battling this chick. Want to determine how strong you are? I'll be your test. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are taking on our good old buddy, Cool Trainer Wendy, and she is coming out with a Mawile. Speak of the devil. Now, Mawile is a, well, was a Pokemon that I wanted to try out, but then I realized that, you know, in Generation 3, it is only, it is only a Steel-type Pokemon, whereas in, you know, the later generations, it is a, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, it, in later generations, it's a fairy slash steel tap Pokemon. Definitely a good, uh, good combination if you if you don't want to get affected by the steel tap and everything. So let's see. There's an item right there, and there are two trainers that I want to battle. So we're gonna have to go back and forth. So let's go right ahead and grab this. Let's see what we can find a revival herb. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and battle these guys. I'll turn your lights out while I rip through this tune. And I am not going to read the rest of this stuff, so let's go right ahead and battle these guys again. And here we go, Surf Attack. And one Pokemon goes down while the rest protects itself. And, well, our Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. And just like that, we defeated this, uh, well, the majority of this guy's Pokemon. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> Vesuvius and Jaws. Generation 3, it actually works out, but in generation, the later generations is not going to be cool. So here we go, Fernando gives us his Pokenab, and... Well, he gives us his Pokenab number, and we get more trainers. Alright, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with Dalsim and Sage of the Halo right here. And I believe Zigzagoon has gotten himself an item, so let's go ahead and grab that X attack. And let's go right here. Don't be too happy if your Pokemon develop psychic powers. You need to refine those powers to make them really useful. Hello, child. Can you spare some time? Probably. Okay, so here we go. Taking on uh, both these individuals right here. I'm not going to name them or anything like that, so we're just going to beat them up. Here we go. Leaf Blade onto this guy. And, well, Strength onto this guy. Leaf Blade onto that, and... Yes, we're kicking some butt, taking some names, and here comes a Machoke. Now, eventually I'm going to have to teach Dalsim a Psychic Attack, because, yeah, it definitely needs a Psychic Attack. Holy crud, okay, so I would like to face you again. Is that okay with you? Yes, it is. And there we go, we get Jackie's number. And, yes, don't care, don't care, really don't care. Why do people just, like, contact me and all that stuff? Okay, so, we are... 
yeah, we are towards the end, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna return and go straight up uh, the northern part of this section right here. That way we can battle everybody else. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and well, we're gonna be battling some more Pokemon. Staying away from the Glooms because they like to paralyze and all that stuff. And now we're gonna be going towards this portion of the map right here. And he's gonna be like, you seem to have a big collection of gym badges. Let me see if you are, you're actually worthy of those badges. Yes, we are. We are worthy. We're more than worthy. I don't know about you. So here we are taking on a cool trainer. His name is Braxton. And he's got himself a Swellow. So let's go right ahead and Leaf Blade the crud out of this Pokemon. And Sage has grown to level 39. And off screen, yes, I, I did get Dulcim all the way up to level 40. It didn't take a lot. And well, let's go straight for an Ember attack again. And well, Trampage is coming back out. Let's go with Sage of the Halo yet again. And here comes Whalmer. So yes, the now the mission is trying to get Sage up to level uh, level 40 right here. So here we go, Amber attack. Come on, this guy is like literally trying to confuse me and stuff. And well, yes. Okay, so shockwave attack for the win. There we go. Okay, so that right there is uh, that right there is annoying when it, when you're facing a shift tree. Now let's see. Go right ahead and go with the revive. There we go. And go with the super potion. And you know what? Let's go right ahead and see what Zigzagoon's been hiding because, yes, he usually picks up some stuff. And yes, a great ball is always great. And this is the last portion of uh, Route 123. You'll find yourself a Pokeball. We get the calcium. And let's see. Well. Obviously, you can fish for some Pokemon right here, too, so... <laughs> yeah, that right there is pretty cool. So, the next place we're going to be going to, guys, is the end of Route 121, I want to say. Yes, yeah, going into Lily Cove, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are, Route 121, I, will want, I want to say. And, well, we're going to be finishing off this episode with a few battles. And on top of that, i got to put on the repel because... Getting sick and tired of seeing these Pokemon right here, and, well, let's see. Well, everybody else has been getting some experience points. Why not give Hadouken a little bit of love right here, too? So, let's go right ahead and battle these trainers. There's nothing I love more than checking out other people's Pokemon. I want everyone to see the Pokemon I've raised. Get on thing. Okay, so here it is, guys. Going up against Pokemon breeders themselves, and, yes, to get collectively, they will have a full team, so that right there is nice. So let's go right ahead and just defeat everybody. There we go, and here we, we're going to be taking on a Shroomish, and we all know that that right there could be problems. So we're going to take a physical hit, and well, let's see, let's go with a Fury Cutter right there. Dragon Claw, there we go, and well, let's see. Let's go back to Leaf Blade right here. Dragon Claw right there. We get paralyzed, obviously, because, you know, Kings of Paralysis. And we win. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to grab grab ourselves a revive. That's always nice. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a Paralysis Heal onto Sage of the Halo right here. And, well, here we have another opponent. With my Pokemon, I have traveled to the world's four corners. You might say I have some—I have some confidence in my abilities. Do you uh, do you really uh, do you really think so? I think so. Okay, so here we are digging on Gentleman Walter, and he's gonna be coming out with his Magnetric. And well, thankfully I have a move right here that can win. And well, again, Keen of Paralysis. How many times have we per like paralyzed ourselves in this episode? Quite a few times, and we're on our very last one. So. Let's go right ahead and see what this item is. And here we found ourselves a Carbos. Yes, always... Uh, yeah, it's always a Carbos right here. And she looks like a Pokefan. She's like, will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? Yes, probably. I don't even know. Okay, so here we are taking on Pokefan Vanessa. And she is going to be coming out with a Pikachu right here. And Sage, let's go right with a Dig Attack. And just like that, we win. Thankfully, we didn't get paral uh, paralyzed. And, well, let's go right ahead and cut this tree right here. And, let's see. So, 
I think there's a hidden item right here. We just need to walk slowly, see where it's at, and look at that. We found ourselves a nugget. And just make sure of that. And, well, to be sure of everything else, I'm just going to be walking around just to make sure that we have uh, everything. And, yes, we do. And, yes, we're going to be battling some Pokemon trainers right here. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Turn around, damn you. Damn it! Okay, you know what? Screw you, man. I'm just going to be battling you. You are selfish. And there we go. And he's going to be done with a, a shift tree. So let's go with uh, that. And you see? Easy. Easy. Okay. And I believe there's an item right here. We found ourselves a max revive, which is always great. And <laughs> have this routine. Defeat five trainers a day. Guess what? You're number five. So I guess this guy right here was like number one, right? Or two or four. I don't even know. So here we go, it's cool trainer Kristen, and she is coming out with her Loudred, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Leaf Blade, and we are close to level 40, so let's finish it off. Level 40 right here, look at that, Sage of the Halo, level 40. Okay, alrighty. And yes, with total humiliation, she's going to be doing that, and yes, she will be giving us her Pokenav as well. And would you look at this, we are tail end of this whole thing home stretch home stretch and yes okay so look at that guys we have finally reached lily cove city this place is of great importance the only problem is that we will have to check it out later on after the uh what was it the pokemon the safari zone so we're gonna stop right here guys in the next episode we're gonna be going back to uh uh what was it we're going to be going back to, whatchamacallit, Fortree City, and we're going to be battling for our sixth badge, and uh, yes, hopefully it goes well. Thank you guys again for being supportive, thank you guys for being, for being very, very patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, see you guys.